Howdy, how's it going? My name is Daddy Chappie, and today's time to make you think that one thing is something else and force you to start questioning everything you know, because I'm going to be talking about the Illusion School of Magic. I'll be going over every spell in the Illusion spell list, and I'll be rating them on Davy's Davy Meter. Keep in mind, as always, that most of this is just my opinion, so if you question any part of this video, or even why my voice sounds different, feel free to leave a comment down below. But that out of the way, let's begin! Also, special thanks to Swiblet for doing that intro for me. So, Illusionary Magics are the type of magic that targets the senses, making you hear things, see things, and sense things that aren't really there, or even numbing your senses so that you don't perceive something that you normally would. You know that one show from way long ago, The Berenstein Bears? Think again, bucko! Illusionary magics are many, and a lot of them rely on your ability to cast them creatively rather than just straight do a thing and be good. So let's get right into them, starting with hand trips. Minor Illusion. The extent of the spell's usefulness is literally up to your own imagination. First level! Color Spray. It's like a flashbang, useful for weaker ad minions, but really unreliable for bosses. Disguise Self. Not necessarily useful useful in combat, but so very useful in roleplay and espionage sessions. Illusionary Script. There are easier ways to pass hidden messages, but forging royal documents has never been easier. Silent Image. Once again, the usefulness of the spell relies on how creatively you can use it. Second level! Blur. It's the dodge action for a full minute, and after the initial casting turn, it's basically free. What's not to love? Invisibility. Obviously good for stealth, but it's limited by the fact that D&D is a team game, so you'll largely be unable to take full effect of its power. Magic Mouth. You literally create a mouth on something that can say almost whatever you want. I I mean, it's a useless spell, but I love it anyway. Mirror Image. This spell is better than practically any other form of defense. It's the secret best abjuration spell. Nistool's Magic Aura. DMs can use this for cool surprises, but players will practically never have a use for this because what NPCs are looking for your magic items? Phantasmal Force. There are a million other better damage spells, but the secret to Phantasmal Force is making an enemy think that the illusion is real and watching it waste time fighting a non-existent enemy. Shadow Blade. With this blade of ultimate edge, I will find finally be able to keep up with the fighter in melee, at least until my opponent hits me and I lose concentration on my second level spell! Silence. Third level! Fear. I'm a big fan of the fact that you only have to manage one save to make the spell useful, just make sure that you put yourself somewhere outside of swinging distance of the inevitable lucky ones that resist you. Hypnotic Pattern. Ignoring that this should clearly be an enchantment, this spell is an awesome bath bomb of disabling power. Major Image. It's weird, I actually think that this spell is better in its sixth level version than its third level version. Still though, it's a good illusion spell as long as you've got the creativity to make it work. Phantom Steed. Look at my horse, my horse is a piece of shit! Fourth level! Greater Invisibility. So much better than basic invisibility because now you get to fight and be invisible at the same level. If you're an arcane trickster and you don't have this, stop being dumb. Hallucinatory Terrain. This spell takes 10 minutes to cast and it doesn't actually do anything. You can technically find ways to make this spell pay off, but in most cases, it's just too meh to care about. Phantasmal Killer. You get to make one enemy eat shit. Have fun. Fifth level! Creation. This is a transmutation spell, but being able to create free gold, a rare gemstone for materials, or an adamantine hammer for smashing purposes is pretty much the dopest thing ever. Dream. This is a divination spell, but being able to hurt people when they wake up from their dreams like your Freddy Krueger is the memeiest thing ever. Mislead. This spell will save your life, especially when you're trying to infiltrate an encounter. Seeming. What? What are you talking about? We are the great Brzezinski brothers, here to entertain your demon lord as he plots his world domination. Please, let us in. Sixth level! Mental Prison. This is an enchantment spell, but being able to do 15d10 or 5d10 and completely disable an enemy is the cheesiest thing ever. Programmed Illusion. You will usually never need to program an illusion when you can just hide behind a rock and snicker as you cast a lower level spell. Seventh level! Mirage Arcane. The illusion is real, and the range is a mile. You can literally delete a villain's evil lair for 10 days. DM Davy says no. Project Image. This is just a longer mislead spell. You really won't need this, especially when you have Simulacrum. It's like a prototype clone ability that has the same abilities as your target, so if your target, such as yourself, can cast Simulacrum, you can have it cast the spell again to create an army of frosty boys. Note that any sane DM will prohibit this. Eighth level! Illusionary Dragon. I am a dragon. Dragon. Not some guy Dan met at the bus station in a dragon suit! Ninth level! Weird. This spell is unreasonably underwhelming considering it is the only ninth level illusion spell in the game. It's like an AoE for Phantasmal Killer, which mind you is only a fourth level spell. But that'll about do it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and comment if you did. Subscribe if you want to be a cool dude. And maybe support me on Patreon so that I can slowly make my entire life revolve around D&D. Also, if you want to stay up to date on all of your dabby news, I keep a link to my social media in the description below. But yeah, Davy out.